Get excited, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. The Carlton County Memorial Library presents Storytime with Miss Sheila. Come on, everybody, friends one and all. Let's come together, let's break down those walls. We're going to listen and we're going to learn. Having fun all the way. Somebody said, let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen, learn together. Let's listen, learn forever. Let's read and learn. Hello, boys and girls. I'm excited. It's another Wednesday. Story time with Miss Sheila, and we're still dealing with family. We got a look at families this month, and I'm excited because families are so important. Without family, you you won't have that support mechanism. You won't have that extra hand that you need from time to time. So, our book today is going to be fun. It's going to be about a boy and a girl. Yeah, they're siblings. How many of you have siblings out there? Yeah. Well, we're gonna talk about a boy and a girl, a mom and a dad, but this time it's gonna be a stepmother. Now, some of your stepmothers are good, but then this book, the stepmother is not good at all. So, get in your most comfortable chair. Let's start our book. Hansel and Gretel. A fairy tale classic. Let's go inside. Long, long ago, little Hansel and Gretel, a fairy tale sister and brother, grew up with their fairy tale father, who married an evil stepmother. Now, the stepmother knew there was little to eat, and her heart was as cold as the snow. So she told her dear husband the very next day, little Hansel and Gretel must go. Tomorrow in the morning, we'll go for a walk. Deep, deep in the woods, we will go. I will lead them and leave them at a faraway place so their way home they never will know. Hansel and Gretel's father was worried. He knew that this plan was all wrong, but one look from his wife filled with hatred and spite and the father just went along. Poor Hansel and Gretel had heard what she'd said. Little Gretel cried, what shall we do? But Hansel said, don't worry sister, I won't let anything happen to you. These bright shiny stones I have kept in the home, away from our stepmother's grip. While we're walking the path, I'll lay them right down and they'll map out the course of our trip. Early next morning, their stepmother woke them. Come, children, there's work to be done. And while Hansel pretended to help collect wood, he dropped each of the stones one by one. When evening time came with its shadows and mist, their stepmother left them alone. But as the moon rose, the stones glowed so brightly, and Hansel led Gretel right home. Their father was joyous. When he saw his two kids, he tucked them both safely in bed. But the very next day, the stepmother woke them and gave each of them still crusts of bread. Then back to the forest she led them, and this time, still bread, Hansel tossed. But the birds of the forest found breadcrumbs quite tasty, and now Hansel and Gretel were lost. They walked to a clearing and saw, right ahead, a gingerbread house made of sweets, peppermints, gumdrops, and licorice sticks, frosting, and marshmallow treats. They both were so hungry they started right in on pieces of butterscotch crunch till a little old woman 
calls out from the doorway. Do I hear a nibble and a much? Why come in, darling children, said the lady with a strange crafty look in her eyes. It's rare that my guests are so young and so sweet, smiled the woman who was really a witch in disguise. In the morning, she told them, I'll help you back home. But first, we must go off to bed. But when Gretel awoke, she found Hansel locked up, for the witch planned to eat him instead. Now, guessing the witch couldn't see very well, Gretel handed her brother a bone. Pretend that this bone is your finger, she said. If you're skinny, she'll leave you alone. Come, Gretel, snapped the witch. I want my house neat as a pin. Each day Gretel slaved as the witch fed poor Hansel. Eat well, <laughs> she would hiss with a grin. Each night when the witch went to feel Hansel's finger, she'd think, something is terribly wrong. She stopped and then whine. You've been eating for days. I just can't imagine what's wrong. Soon the witch grew impatient and sent Gretel out. Fetch me water to boil in my pot. I'm planning to feast on your brother tonight, whether he's plumped up or not. When the pot started boiling, the witch turned to Gretel. Oh, my poor bag is so tired, she sighed. Could you see if the oven is hot enough yet? But I don't know how, Gretel lied. When the old witch bent down near the oven to show her, well, Gretel just shoved her inside. Then Gretel unlocked Hansel's cage with the keys and out the boy jumped with a whirl. They found that the keys also opened a chest filled with gold, diamonds, rubies, and pearls. And they followed a path lit by heaven's own stars, brighter than any they'd known. It led right to their father, who'd sent away his mean wife. And now Hansel and Gretel were home. And that is the end of Hansel and Gretel. Hey there, Big Mama. Hey there, <laughs> she know how hot if I do. Girl, you know it's been a little minute since you've been here. It surely has. It's been too long. Too long, Big Mama. You know, Miss Carolyn Burns and I, yes. we've been writing songs, she's been playing songs, and we've been moving on. And I've been Ms. working hard. Yes. Then I told Miss Carolyn, I said, Miss Carolyn, we gotta call Big Mama. Yes, I'm glad you gave me a call. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna sing a song called Hansel and Gretel today. You ready for this? Oh, I would love that story, you know. <laughs> oh, you like that too? Yes, I do. All right, well, let's go. Okay. There was a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. Their father was poor. Oh, was poor. They won't die. They didn't matter.
Hello, we are the Monroe family. We are originally from Blair, South Carolina. However, we have been in the Low Country for about 14 years now. Here's our family. Take a look and see how it has grown over the years. And from our family to yours, may God bless you. Excited, and we hope you are too. We have some announcements to make. Every Wednesday, we will have story time with Miss Sheila. So stay tuned, 10 o'clock every Wednesday. Then we're going to have once per month homeschool action. Yes, a homeschool mom is going to share their thing. And then we're going to invite a guest to come at least once a month to inspire us to read, learn, and Thanks for spending this great time. Now, children, it's time to go. Thanks for watching Miss Sheila's reading show. Hope you listened and you learned. And remember all the things you heard. We hope, children, next week that you will return. If you enjoyed watching us, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.